Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Modtech, and I am back once again with my ANET A8+. Plus. Friends, I've been seeing a lot of people that are modding it. I've kept mine stock, and I've been having a blast with it. I've got a new torture chest, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so this is a Kobayashi Fidget Cube that I have been editing for a while in Tinkercad. Uh, these are totally awesome, but uh, they take longer to print than I like in my class. Uh, I use 0.3 millimeter layers, and these take more than two hours on most of my printers. So, in Tinkercad, I shrunk it. Uh, so now this one prints in a little over an hour. This one right here was printed on the MakerBot Replicator Plus, and as you can see, it turned out good. Uh, the more you use it, the more they open up. It does have one spot where it catches, but now we're going to try and print this tiny one on the A8+. Plus. Notice this one now says get cracking. So we've got it branded. I will put this on Thingiverse just in case anybody wants. On this side it says mod and tech. So they're just a lot of fun and I find that kids really enjoy them and it's a really good test of how well your printer's printing. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so I'm using the SD card. Everything is sliced in Kira, and I'm using 0.3 millimeter layers. So I'm not printing high quality. I like 0.3 millimeter layers for speed, and since I'm just printing for my students, that makes sense. So let's go down to print from SD, and let's find my tiny bean code, which is one of the cool tricks that I use in Tinkercad, and let's get printing. Alrighty friends, so you may notice we changed colors of filament. I'm going to show you that one as well, uh, but I lost my time lapse capture on that filament, so that's why I'm doing it again. When it comes off, I need to pull off these little supports that I've added down on the bottom. And then you can see that folds instantly. These are sometimes a tiny bit sticky. But you can see now that way it folds. And then let's open these up. Once again, a tiny bit sticky. But then after that first initial snap, boom. We've got an awesome, tiny, get cracking Infinity Cube. Printed on a stock A8+. How sweet is that? And here is the other one that I printed. You notice it works just as well. It is interesting that it's harder to read with the clear filament. So my friends, the A8 Plus, totally stock, came through with flying colors. Uh, these are not easy to print. I do get errors on some of my printers, but this one just keeps handling everything I throw at it, even in its stock version. 
I'm not saying there aren't things that are cool to upgrade. What I am saying is that if you take time, learn your printer, master your settings, you can get it to print just like you want. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.